For the last video in this demo file, uh, we'll go to the saved views again, and then we'll go to the RenderWorks background saved view, which should take us to a sheet layer with them already prepared. There you are. Now, the one below has no RenderWorks background. The one above does. There's no difference in these two documents other than that. This light, this extra brightness that you're seeing, that's and the blue from the sky, that's all coming from the RenderWorks background. There are two main ways to change the RenderWorks background. If you have a regular RenderWorks style applied, you would just select this, and then under RenderWorks background, you'd be able to select this. However, this is grayed out along with the background settings because we're using a RenderWorks style. So when you're using a RenderWorks style, you need to control that background via the RenderWorks style directly. We scroll down here. We'll edit the quick render style. And we'll go to the background tab. In here we can see HDRI day, which is just a sunny blue day. It's nothing special. However, you can change the mood of your shot a lot by just changing the background, not changing any of the lighting in it, just changing the background completely. So what we'll do, we won't edit this one first. This second viewport uses quick render, no background. We'll edit that background. We'll rename this to Quick Render Sunset. And in the Background tab, we'll change the RenderWorks background from None to HDRI Sky Sunset. We want the environment reflections to come from this background, and we want the lighting to come from that background as well. If you don't get the lighting, you don't get that sort of mood that I was talking about earlier. And click OK. Now, we don't need to reapply that style to this viewport because we just renamed the one that was already on it. So even if we go here and check just to be sure, it'll already be this new RenderWorks style, a quick render sunset. We'll update this lower viewport. There we are. See, we completely changed the feel of this rendering. The one on the bottom looks much, much darker. It's much later at night. It doesn't appear to be as bright and sunny. And all we changed was the RenderWorks background. We didn't really do much else to it. Now, you'll notice here, uh, and this is just more of a, a tip for you. The sky HDRI backgrounds. So when we looked in here, let me edit this resource. The HDRI sky sunset. These HDRI sky options, they only contain the top part of the image. They don't contain anything below. So you see this sort of black line and this black ocean in the background. How you don't have that here. The HDRI ones only include what's called a sky box. They don't go all the way around past the horizon and down. So since our angle is a little high, tilted low, we can see that line. If you want to get around that, you can either make your own panoramic image or you can use one of the other ones, which is just HDRI day, the ones that don't mention sky. They just have one color all the way through. And you can even make a simple one. We'll, we'll actually do that right now. Collapse render styles, expand render backgrounds, and we'll do a very simple one. We'll right click in a blank area here and choose New RenderWorks Background. And actually, this is a little advanced, but I'll show you a tip. We'll call this run Chroma Key Background. And we'll change the background to one color. Click Options, which is for the color just a single option pick. And we'll pick a ridiculous green. Now, the reason I would do this might seem a little strange, but We'll go ahead and we'll edit the same RenderWorks style. So we'll scroll down. We'll edit Quick Render Sunset. We'll go to the Background tab. And we'll choose RenderWorks Background, Chroma Key Background. And make sure you rename it because we don't want it named Sunset and thinking that. And then we render it for no reason, thinking it's the wrong thing. Key Background. And last, we're not going to bother changing environment reflections. We don't need to worry about it reflecting this green background because under quality, we're going to change the max reflections to zero. And under lighting, we're going to make sure that environment lighting is disabled because we don't want this green light and we don't want the green reflections on the windows for what we're going to do. Click OK. And then go ahead and click Update to update that bottom viewport. And there we go. Now, this looks very strange. But the reason we've done this is this creates what's called a chroma key background. If we bring this into photo or video editing software now, this image, we can select that green color and that will be made completely transparent.
so that we can easily replace the background of the object in another editing application other than Vectorworks. So you don't need to come back and use Renderworks in order to re-render the background. You could simply swap in any background you wanted in post-processing. You don't have to do it this way. It's just a little trick I wanted to share with you at the end of this video. All right, and say goodbye to this model file. We're going to be using a completely different one for the second part.